All right, let's see if we can figure out this next problem. This is out of 3.3, and it says find a polynomial of degree three with real coefficients and zeros of negative three, negative one, and four, for which f of negative two is 18. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off by saying, number one, we have the zeros, which are the same thing as my x-intercepts, and we have three of them. We have x equals negative three, x equals negative one, and x equals four. Okay, so number two, now we're gonna write out our factors. So remember, I'm gonna bring each of these values over so that I can write them as factors. So this will be x plus 3, x plus 1, and x minus 4. Okay. Number 3, we're going to start to write out our function. f of x equals, remember, we're going to have to have some kind of a coefficient. We're going to have x plus 3, x plus 1, and x minus four, okay? This, the fourth step I'm gonna do, and let me see. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is, ah, this piece, <clears throat> excuse me. See right here where it tells me, and we write it over here, f of negative two is equal to 18. So remember, this is my x value, and this is my y, or my f of x value. So right here, I'm going to put 18 equals A. Remember what the X number is. It's negative 2. So I'm going to go negative 2 plus 3, negative 2 plus 1, negative 2 minus 4. And I'm going to do this again. 18 equals A. Let's see. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Uh, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Negative 2 minus 4 is a negative 6, okay? So my next step is I'm going to multiply these numbers together. So 1 times negative 1 times negative 6 should just be actually a positive 6. So over here, I'm going to write out 18 equals 6 times A. So when we divide both sides by 6, we're coming up with A is equal to 3, okay? So now, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's go ahead and write out our function. We're gonna have three times, and we had three factors, let me come back and see what they were. X plus three, X plus one, X minus four. X plus three, X plus one, X minus four, okay? And so now, the hardest part, this is just, it's tedious, guys, okay? We're gonna have to start foiling stuff out. So I'll tell you what, let's do it this way. Let's put these here together, okay? And it really doesn't matter which ones I do first. I'm gonna do these simply for the reason that, look, x times x, x squared, plus one x, plus three x, plus three. Here's my x minus four, okay? F of x equals three. We're going to combine those two together. That's x squared plus 4x plus 3 times x minus 4. Okay. And f of x equals 3. Let's do it this way. x squared times x is x to the third. x squared times 4 is a minus 4x squared. I've used that one. 4x times another x is a positive 4x squared. 4x times a negative 4 is a minus 16x. Okay, we've used that one. 3, 3 times x, I'm sorry, is a 3x. 3 times a negative 4 is a minus 12. Okay. So let's see, which ones here are going to cancel out? So these 4x squareds will cancel. So I'm going to start writing up here, and I'm probably going to go to another page just so I can keep working. But we're going to have a 3, okay? Got an x to the third. Those x squareds canceled. Let's see. Minus 16 and plus 3 is a minus 13x. And then a minus 12, okay? Actually, I don't think I need to go to another page because now all I'm going to do is multiply by 3. 
So I'm going to end up with 3x to the third minus 39x minus 36. Oops, no x there. Minus 36. Six, there we go. And here is my equation, my function, okay? So this was out of 3.3. I hope this helps. Um, again, I had to do it in pieces, right? And I want you to notice I'm trying to go, you know, piece at a time, right? What's my first part, my second part, my third part? Um, I think once we get to this step right here and we find our A and we write out this function, I think up to this step, it's probably pretty straightforward. This is the more tedious part.